Hi, I'm Dylan Geary. On behalf of the GCHS DECA Club and the Litchfield Animal Shelter, I want to invite you and your dogs to shrug your mutt tomorrow at Scare on the Square. Scare on the Square begins at 4 p.m. Arrive early to register your pet to compete in a doggy costume contest. The shelter will also be microchipping tomorrow evening for a very reasonable price. Don't miss your chance to dress your adorable fur baby up and possibly win prizes. Proceeds made from Shrut Your Mutt go to the Litchfield Animal Shelter. Thank you and hope to see you tomorrow afternoon at Scare on the Square. Good morning, GCHS. Today is Friday, October 20th. I'm Shelby. I'm Shanna. And, and these, these are your morning, morning announcements. announcements. For today's weather, it's supposed to be mostly sunny with a high of 76. If you're going out to the game tonight, you might want to bring a jacket. It's supposed to be partly cloudy and the temperature 52 degrees. Hi, welcome to Chili's. And these have been your morning announcements. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at journalism underscore GCHS. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, GCHS Journalism. Have, have a great, great day. day. <laughs> Demon Barber of Fleet Street, killing guys and making pies for a living. Benjamin Barker, your local barber, has his heart broken, runs away from his problems. In turn, he takes on the persona we know and love, Sweeney Todd. Musical murder brought to life by Johnny Depp and Helen Bob Carter. The murderous duo takes revenge into their own hands. What happens when the brilliant baker comes up with a brutal plan? Keeping his real identity on lockdown, Todd starts killing villainous men, baking them into pies with Mrs. Lovett, feeding them to the unknowing people of London when they didn't even know what the great taste was. We give this movie four out of five blood splatters. Join us next time for another monstrous, murderous movie review. Chicken and a big cold jug of sweet tea I make a little room and she climbs on up I open up a throttle and stir a little dust Just look at her face, she ain't a fool in me She thinks my tractor's sexy yeah, really. So could you tell us something about like farm life? There's always something to do. You know, it's very rewarding. You have uh, you have to be self-motivated to do it. You can't, you know, nobody's telling you what to do or when to do it. So you have to be able to get up and get things done in order to make a living at it. And uh, uh, I help on my dad's family farm, and have that's what I do when I leave school. I go to farming. So, what do you find? We have about 250 beef cattle and uh, 800 acres of crops, corn, soybean, corn, soybean. Hmm. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. That's it. That's it. So, tell us about your farming operation. Our farming operation? Well, it's just a real small one, but you know, we have a couple. Of, we have different things. We have pigs. Which we have about 300 of. We have some cows, very few cows, about four or five. Um, so horses. All pregnant, yeah, all the cows yeah. All, 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 except for the bull. It's kind of hard for the bull to be pregnant. Yes, except for okay. And we have some horses. They do a good job of being pasture ornaments. And then we have chickens, which are harvest. Mm. Cool. They're pretty chickens because they have to match hard, they have to be pretty. Okay. <laughs> 
Amen. We're kind of what you would call hobby farmers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're trying to work up to being self-sustaining. Do you know what self-sustaining means? Nope. Live solely off of our land uh. with garden and garden, raise our own garden food and meat. Hmm. That's, that's interesting.